And here's a 27 Investigates follow-up. It's been one year since their first report on illegal dumping around the east side. Today, we discovered the city of Youngstown is taking some permanent steps to solve the problem. 27 Investigates reporter Amanda Smith has the latest developments. Much of Arthur Norwood's neighborhood is empty. The streets is deteriorated and no houses back there now. Since all the houses are gone, I guess wouldn't be no sense of having the streets open. So this week, the city of Youngstown began blocking off some of those empty neighborhoods. Four miles of roads are closed. One of them is the street Norwood grew up on. I think it's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. I just miss those streets. If these roads are left open, you can see how bad the situation can get. There's tires piled up over here, a mound of construction debris behind me, and I can't even begin to describe the smell. This is what Youngstown wants to prevent from spreading. Last year, I reported on the widespread dumping out here. Now, Charles Shasha with Public Works says it's time to say goodbye. In an effort to uh, realize we're a shrinking city and uh, reduce our costs for maintaining our infrastructure, we decided to close them. Plus, the roads are so bad that city plow trucks got stuck back here last winter. I expect uh, the trees to continue to grow over the roads. Uh, I expect the roads to they probably buckle up some more. And, and uh, we're just going to let it, uh, for lack of a better term, just let it go. The city isn't giving up rights to the roads. So if some development comes along, the roads could be opened again. On the east side, Amanda Smith, 27 Investigates.